This video covers the luxuries of Floyd Mayweather, and you don't want to skip this video. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is on top of the world. It's less of a subjective statement and more of an honest observation at this point. Earlier this month, the 36-year-old Chinup outboxed one of the most promising young fighters in the world in Canelo Alvarez, and in doing so, earned himself $41 million and broke the standing record for pay-per-view buys. All of this was made possible because of Mayweather's ability to sell himself. He's as good a marketer as he is a fighter. He throws his money around, lives an unbelievable lifestyle, and makes you want to see him lose, something he has yet to do. By creating his own brand name and becoming his own promoter, Mayweather has been able to reach a level of wealth few other athletes could ever dream of, and he doesn't let his mountains of cash sitting around. The following are insane things Floyd Mayweather does with his money. Enjoy the window shopping because you'll be weeping over your checking account after this one is through. He unnecessarily charters separate private jets for his entourage. There's rich, and then there's charter an extra private jet because you're scared of gravity rich. Floyd Mayweather rests firmly in this latter category, according to an interview he recently gave on The Howard Stern Show. Mayweather was answering questions about his personal finances when he admitted that he charters an extra private jet for his bodyguards while he's traveling because he's afraid their weight would drag his Gulfstream V down. He carries around sacks of money. You don't get nicknamed money by tucking your earnings in a 401k. Like a modern-day Scrooge McDuck, Mayweather likes to be able to hold his success in his hands and use it as a swimming pool. At any given time when he's out and about, Mayweather will have thousands of dollars on his person. He keeps about $60,000 on him for light evenings and claims he can fit $1 million in a hockey bag when he decides to roll deep. Buy fleets of luxury cars. A boxer with a driveway full of expensive cars. No surprise there. Well, hold up. These are just Mayweather's Vegas cars. He keeps eight luxury rides at his Las Vegas mansion and even more at his homes in Los Angeles and Miami. His cars are also color-coded by city. His Vegas cars are white, while this fleet in Miami is all black. You know, in case he forgets which city he's in. Premium Concierge Services For most of us, fancy concierge service is when the hotel desk guy upgrades to a spacious handicap suite. For Floyd Mayweather, fancy concierge service involves a company scouring the nation for unbullyable courtside seats. The boxer used one such service to find him courtside seats to the 2013 NBA Finals. Mayweather hired White Glove Entertainment, a premium concierge and lifestyle service, to find him free courtside tickets to Game 7 of the Heat Spurs Final Series. It should also be noted that he gave them less than 24 hours to find the tickets. Yes. He asked on June 20th, the day of the game. Mayweather ended up paying $25,000 a pop for three courtside tickets. He also picked up an extra first row seat for another $5,000. That's $80,000 on four tickets to a basketball game. Just a part of his day. Betting on Johnny Manziel Sports betting is a passion of Mayweather's. And like everything else he does, he does it often and goes for big air. For example, Mayweather recently made $200,000 betting on Johnny Manziel, and he's planning to bet another $300,000 on the Aggies beating Arkansas this weekend. Yep, this man is willing to wager a four-bedroom home in the suburbs on his belief that Johnny football doesn't have off days. No pressure, Johnny. Seriously, though, there's zero pressure. Floyd is more than flush. He keeps all his scratch in one bank account. He has $123 million in a checking account. That's something that Mayweather recently revealed to ESPN's Tim Keown. Keown was traveling with Mayweather's entourage doing pre-fight coverage when Mayweather whipped out a bank receipt showing $123 million in his checking account. He eats meals in jewelry shops. Eating chicken nuggets and french fries is typically frowned upon when you're handling a quarter million in jewelry. Unless you're Floyd, for whom many rules do not apply. Mayweather was recently shopping in a prominent New York jewelry store when he became hungry and set out some of his buddies out to pick up food. They soon returned with styrofoam boxes of french fries and chicken fingers. 
which Mayweather and friends ate in the middle of an ultra-premium jewelry store catering to the top sliver of the 1%. The boxer ended up dropping a quarter million on earrings and a necklace for his 13-year-old daughter. He only wears his shoes and boxers once. I don't know how else to put this. Floyd Mayweather refuses to launder his underwear or wear old shoes. He uses them like band-aids, using them for a while before peeling them off and discarding them. Mayweather spends about $6,000 a year on underwear alone, which he throws away after using. He isn't quite as wasteful with his shoes, which he leaves behind in his hotel room for the cleaning staff. He brings a personal barber with him everywhere. Ever get your hair cut on a private jet? Me neither. Probably because I don't make enough money to charter Gulfstreams and hire a personal barber, as Floyd Mayweather did for his latest pre-fight promotional tour. Having an on-call barber is important for a man like Floyd, considering how he's always trying out new styles. Rolls in expensive golf carts. What's that? Oh, nothing, just a $20,000 golf cart. Floyd Mayweather's Cadillac golf cart costs more than most people's cars. The best part is that from everything I've read, the boxer prefers to just play basketball when he's not training. Tickets to his own fight. Prepare to have your mind punched into pieces. Floyd recently spent over half a million dollars on tickets to his own fight against Canelo Alvarez. According to Business Insider, Mayweather shelled out $605,000 to buy his friend's tickets to his big September throwdown with Alvarez at the MGM Grand. Based on the varying prices offered for the fight, this means Mayweather bought around 300 tickets to give out to friends and family. He had $7 million in jewelry stolen from him. Floyd spent a fortune on jewelry, only to have it stolen away. Two robbers broke into Mayweather's Las Vegas mansion in 2008 and made off with $7 million in rings and other jewelry. Naturally, Floyd immediately offered a $100,000 award for information leading to their arrest. He has a diamond-encrusted iPod case. What you are now looking at is a $50,000 iPod case, ladies and gentlemen. Mayweather posted the picture to Twitter in 2010, showing off his diamond-bedazzled iPod carrying case. Do you feel that? That's what it feels like to realize your car isn't worth half as much as Floyd Mayweather's iPod container. He bought his finance this diamond engagement. It's rumored that they've broken up, but Mayweather's finance Chantel Jackson has been seen strutting about with this boulder on her ring finger. It's unknown exactly how much the rock costs Floyd but that is definitely not a diamond. Given its almost comical size, one can only guess that at least several hockey bags of $100 bills were laid down before Mayweather walked out of the jewelry store with this ring. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel before you go.